building lives, the, the thing that really appeals to me about building lives is that it has a proven track record of success. Well, in my 20 years working with youth in this community, Building Lives was the best program I've been anywhere near. I guess the uniqueness of uh, the Building Lives program was that um, young people had somebody to walk with them. Having that connection with them for a two-year period uh, really built uh, relationships and gave us the ability to be able to uh, convince young people to do things that were in their best interest. They're a program that just has integrity and they say what they mean and they mean what they say and they help me so I definitely feel there's a need for a program like Building Lives. Well what made Building Lives unique was a conglomerate. Um, I think it started with having an incredible staff and a great collaboration with um, particularly uh, Workforce Solutions and Hired, and a, a team of people that just had a passion for working with youth that really cared about the youth in the community and knew them and had skill to implement the passion that they had for working with young people, particularly young people that were either in the court system or at risk of um, entering into the court system. One of the numbers that really stuck out for me when I was looking at the statistics for building lives was that around 65 percent of, of these young people really didn't have a legal guardian involved in their life that was helping them make decisions on a regular basis. Um, and what I like about building lives and, and what other people like that listen to the stories that are out there is the fact that there's this one-on-one -on -one case management that really gives some guidance and direction to these young people. We dealt with a lot of young people who had worked with um, case workers and case managers um, in the past and they only went halfway <clears throat> with those kids. Um, they weren't willing to cross over the line and pull that kid closer. Um, and what we did was we gave kids hope that um, we would be there when they needed us. That um, we would tell them that they were doing wrong when they were doing wrong. Also, when we got to a point where one of us felt like we couldn't do, you know, was, <clears throat> I've gone as far as I can with this kid. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to do with this kid. There was five or six other counselors that were willing to step in and say, let me try this or let me try that. So um, that's really what made this uh, program a special program. So Building Lives was, was one of the ways that we could really interact and give our at-risk youth and our probation youth, a real opportunity at getting some job skills, bolstering their education, bringing in lots of resources that otherwise the community and the Corrections Department and Workforce Solutions and others really struggles to bring to this population. We're able to bring that in working with the schools, working in a targeted, a really targeted area where we have uh, lots of economic disadvantages, um, lots of youth of color, and um, provide some opportunities that were phenomenal. Building Lives has brought a big impact into my life. I'm so much happier now that I know that I am able to do things that I didn't think that I would be able to do. The confidence that Building Lives gave me to do these things is just better for my soul. For a while I was putting in applications at McDonald's and you know I couldn't even get a job there and just to be where I am right now I'm very blessed and I, I never seen it coming. You know my daughter's happy that her mom's working and you know working with these nice wonderful people and it was all thanks to Billy Lives. I wanted to become something that is someone important because my family, uh, do, I should say, because of my family background, we really didn't have um, too much of a, a stepping stone or uh, someone to um, look up to. So I would be the first person in my family to actually go to college and actually get a degree. At this time, I'm the only uh, female African-American woman who is practicing uh, mortuary science in Minnesota. Building Lives has helped me to, you have a, a, a support, you have support, you know. Um, it's important to have that. When, when you're lacking support, you know, 
you don't know what's next. You don't you don't have um, goals to succeed. So support is 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 a word that I would say that that uh, describes how I felt in in, when, in building lives. If I would sum it up in all one word or two words, it would be opportunity and privilege. I'm still at the YWCA for five years now. I have two jobs at the Y. I work in the after school program in the afternoon and I work with maintenance part time also. And um, how, how, the, how Buildings Life prepared me for this is by learning how to, was by not learning, but by giving me good human relations. They teach me good human relations on how, how I would enter the job field and work with people around in the job field. Well, I think Building Lives has expectations of those, of the kids. I mean, they uh, teach them how to interview, how to dress, how to present themselves. And we see that coming in. You know, I'm, I'm, I may be a little bit tougher than my wife in some instances. She may be a little tif tougher than me. So uh, we, we try to tag team on that because uh, uh, it, it's, it's, you know, some of the young people come with some, some difficulties and we try to help them through it. And one of the things that I try to do though is, is when I do interview somebody is, is, is tell them, you know, don't, don't bring any problems through the door with you, but I don't expect them to take any either. So if there's anything that they need to talk about, would like to talk about with either, either one of us, just ask. And, you know, we'll find the time to sit down quietly and talk and help them through, you know, what type of problems they might be having. So, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of a, you know, surrogate kind of mother and father thing again, but, you know, that village thing, it's the village thing. Each one reach one, each one teach one. I guess I just was looking for a little bit of guidance and, I mean, help at the moment, just because doing things on my own and getting rejected and being discouraged, you know, just felt like I needed somewhere to turn to and I was grateful that there was a program like Building Lives and, you know, getting help and guidance from their job counselors really, you know, changed my life. And I don't think I will be where I am today without being in the Building Lives program because I had an opportunity to do a job shadowing um, at United Hospital in the radiology department and that really helped me determine what I wanted to do career-wise going into the healthcare field. I currently work for Health Partners Home Medical Equipment and I enjoy my job. I love working with patients and I'm just grateful for a program like Building Lives because they really helped me, you know, come to my senses and grow and learn what it is I really wanted to do with my life. The building blocks to building lives are confidence, trust. Oh, it's support, it's education, um, it's opportunity, hope. Self-esteem, success. Confidence, hope, experience, support, information. Building lives will change your life.